back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video on the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics Champagne Collection. I finally got it in the mail, which the UPS guy left it outside, which is super dangerous. Never ever, UPS people, listen up. Never leave anything that says Sephora outside the door, okay? I just thought I should bring that up. I had such an amazing time recording this video. I loved everything about all these products. They're so dewy, so refreshing, so spring and summer ready. It's like perfect for these upcoming seasons. Can't wait to actually use these on my brides because it's like I said, it's just very natural and not so like aggressive to the look. I know that it goes back on sale in June. It's a limited edition for this face palette, so I would put a little notification on Sephora to email you when it comes on stock so that way you guys can make sure that you reach it and get it because they go out of stock super fast. So if you would like to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, damn it. So I already have my foundation, my concealer on, and my brows. Just to catch you guys up, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Palming and the foundation that I use are my favorite foundations, of course, the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline, and I mix 220 and 228. The concealer that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 25. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in light warm. To set my eyes, I'm just gonna be using, again, the Airspa Translucent Powder. So the moment we have been waiting for, I'm going to be, ooh, it's like blinding the camera too. Look at that. These are like my favorite colors. I love these rose colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this color up here and use it as my transition. Next color I'm going to be picking up is this color, and it is called Kanye. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this color here, and I believe it is called Bordeaux. 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 Hell if I know. For the lid, I'm going to be using this color here, and this one is Champagne Toast. And I'm just going to be using my finger to apply it and rub it all over my lid. Okay, now that we have the lid color, I'm going to be picking up Chardonnay, which is this color here. And this one is a little bit more frostier, but still has a gold undertone, so it's not like silver. Chardonnay. I actually can use a Chardonnay right now. For those of you who are following me on Snapchat, know that I have been working out and training with a girl named Britlin. She's super awesome and so funny. And my life literally is not the same. I haven't had pizza in like two weeks. Um, I can't drink alcohol. Just my life is changing. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go back in with this color. The liner I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black. This is that part where you try to make a very thin liner, but you end up looking like a panda. You know, you just keep going and keep going. Keep going up and keep going up. Turns into a hot mess. You end up not uploading the video. I'm speaking by experience, by the way. The lashes I'm going to be using today are by Dodo Lashes, and these are in D105. I do have a discount code, and I will link that down below if you guys are interested in purchasing these. I like to just lay them down on top of my lashes before I push anywhere. Lay them down like so, and then I grab the outer corner and push it towards my eyelid. Then I grab the inner corner and attach it towards my eyelid. But moving on to the face really quickly. I only set underneath my eyes. I did not set anything else, any of my foundation yet with any powder because I wanted to use this right here. This one is the Champagne Pop Shimmering Liquid Perfector. It is very illuminating, very beautiful. I will show you guys right there. Ooh, 
Bye. Another thing that you can do with this is you can put a few pumps in your lotion, mix it up, and then put it all over your body so that your body can glow whenever you're going out to the pool or when you're showing some skin during the summer. You know what I'm talking about. Oh crap, I have not bronzed. I'm going to be bronzing my face using the Cargo Matte Bronzer. This is a very universal bronzer. I've used it in a couple of my videos. I like to use it on a lot of my clients because my clients always vary from, you know, very pale porcelain skin to medium to tan. And this one here is like, again, very universal. It doesn't have too much red or too much ash. It's like right in the middle. go ahead and grab my Hula Bronzer by Benefit. So I'm grabbing my Airspun Translucent Powder really quickly and I'm just going to lightly clean up. So moving on to the best palette I have seen so far. And let me open it first. It's so beautiful. Like the case is beautiful. It screams out Jaclyn. It's gold. I love gold. I think the only one that I'm going to have an issue with using is this one here. It's just way too bright and corally for me for a blush. And here, this one is called Rose Spritz. It's so beautiful. Similar to Orgasm by NARS, but better. I'm going to go ahead and grab a fan brush for my blush. Okay, so for the highlight, I'm going to be mixing Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop together. Okay, when I sent this on Snapchat, I wasn't too sure the name of it, so I'm kind of nervous to say the name again, but it's Fleur, F-L-E-U-R, you know, I can't read for shit. Help me out, people. I'm going to be going in with Tiramisu NYX Butter Gloss. I'm going to highlight the highest points of my lip so that when light reflects on it again, it will make it stand out and pop. to finally be filming this video set mm, a la chingada way. 